The title of our group is the study on English sustainable learning of medical college students in China. The name of our group is the group of sailing. Here are the names and matching numbers of the four members of our group. We would also like to appreciate our another two partners, Zhao Lan and Li Ke, who also contributed a lot to our group assignment. They withdrew from the group later because they were exempted from the course, so naturally. We would like to thank them both again. Our presentation will be divided into six parts. The first part of our presentation is introduction. This part is completed by me. My name is Sun Qimeng, and here is my metric number. I will present the introduction from these four aspects. Firstly, from the perspectives of the worldwide, according to the Sustainable Development Goals, SDG, it mentions that it is necessary to ensure good health and well-being, to provide equality education and decent work, to achieve economic growth and partnerships all around the world for the goal. Secondly, in China, the decision proposes to build an education system that serves lifelong learning for all people, take advantage of online education and artificial intelligence, innovate education and learning methods, accelerate the development of a more open and flexible education system for everyone, sustainable for everyone, and build a learning society. Thirdly, the 2019 China Education Modernization 2035 issued by the CPC Central Committee. And the State Council focuses on the deployment of 10 strategic tasks for education modernization, one of which is to build a lifelong learning system that serves all people strengthen the function of continuing education and social training services of higher education institutions, and promote the construction of various learning organizations. The last one, thus the construction of a lifelong learning system is imminent, and with the spread of the COVID-19 in 2020 around the world, International cooperation in medicine has become particularly important, and English as an international language plays a vital role in international medicine communication and cooperation. In the process of international exchange, the lack of personnel who can fluently use medical specialized English has led to numerous obstacles in the communication process. When conducting medical international exchanges, talents who can directly address medical professional issues in English are highly sought after. The gradual emphasis on the ability to use medical specialized languages in the personnel training objectives of undergraduate medical schools has led to the traditional English education system, which is mainly based on the teaching of general English, being constantly questioned. And now let's focus on problem statement. As we know, because COVID-19, all the world requires more international medical practitioners to cooperate with each other. However, the current teaching situation in our country is not optimistic. The problems can be divided into two parts. The first one is in college study. About this aspect, it covers the following issues. 
First, the time spent on EMP is less than regulated. Then, it lacks of qualified medical English teachers, and the course is out of date. Thirdly, there is no appropriate connection between EGP and EMP. Next is after graduation. About this aspect, the problem is there is no system to combine college English education with social English education to get the lifelong learning or the sustainable learning. Now here is research objectives on the questions. Uh, there are three research objectives. The first one is to find out the students' attitudes to EGP and EMP. A second one is to identify the advantages, problems, and reasons in current curricular syllabus. The second one is to explore how to develop a sustainable learning module. In line with research objectives, there are also three research questions. The first one, what are the students' attitude to EGP and EMP? The second one, what are the advantages, problems, and reasons in current curricular syllabus? And the last one, how to develop a sustainable learning module. Now let's move to the literature review. Many scholars in China studied the EMP. For instance, Ni Chuanbin studied students' needs for English. Guo Linxiang took a study to understand the current situation of ESP in medical colleges. Li Jia, Lu Yi, and Li Dan also studied EMP from different aspects. In other countries, there are also many scholars who studied EMP. For example, Herney studied one particular aspect of EMP, pronunciation. Elbanon McGarry analyzed the medical students' needs. And scholars from Iran and United States also studied EMP. This cross-sectional study was designed based on a mixed method procedure and integrated quantitative and qualitative methodology. The research used a quantitative method methodology that allowed it to proceed to a sample integrated from medical practitioners by questionnaires and qualitative research from medical college students as well as practitioners by semi-structured interview. This is our procedure to operate the quantitative research. Our participants are from medical practitioners and our questionnaire aims to attitude uh, to judge the attitude toward EJP and EMP. They have different attitude about uh, strongly disagree and strongly agree. We, after we designed our questionnaire, we had a parallel test and then distributed and retrieved the questionnaires. At last, we used the SPSS to have data analysis. Next part is quantitative research. We used a semi-structured interview, designed interview protocol 
pilot study and refined the interview questions. Of course, we have already obtained their permission and then conducted interview, transcribed and analyzed in interpreted the transcripts. At last, we summarize the findings. And we get, we got the conclusion from this study. There are three results we have got from the study. The first one is college medical students and practitioners have strong designs for better speaking abilities. And number two, many Medical students and practitioners cannot read the books or periodicals and the right apply to writing as well. Last one is a course design and modern teaching materials and teachers for ESP are unrealistic and inadequate for medical students and practitioners to meet the requirements in the working fields. Uh, this is our discussion from this research because limited time the course should be designed more reasonable and realistic of course we come up with an english learning method however further exploration is still needed to pro develop the mode last but not the least if this study involves other countries um, such as south especially South Asian, Asian countries, we can cooperate with each other to foster more medical talents and practitioners to combat COVID-19. That's all. Thank you so much.